News 46 is brought to you by... Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. News 46 is also brought to you by Southwest Medical Associates. Look for news about their latest healthcare center opening soon in your neighborhood. Southwest Medical Associates, now that's powerful medicine. News 46 is also brought to you by Red Apple Fireworks. You've never seen anything like it. Nevada's elite fireworks shopping experience. Red Apple Fireworks. Tonight on News 46, an accused drug dealer is off the streets. And two arrested for an accused burglary. And an evening of wine and jazz. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Rick Vale and Rhonda Van Winkle. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell and news across Nevada with Janet Eric. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Tuesday, July 26, 2011. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Rhonda Van Winkle for News 46. Welcome back, Rick. Thank you. Topping our news tonight, 23-year-old Nye County Sheriff's Deputy Joseph Marshall was injured in a two-vehicle accident on July 12th at the intersection of Blagg and Highway 372. He, we have an update concerning his condition. Apparently, the deputy, who has been on the force for a little over two years, broke the entire top of his foot in this collision when his patrol vehicle collided with another passenger vehicle. He is expected to make a full recovery and return to duty. However, he may be three to six months in recovery. Well, you know, those things take a long time. And if the damage to his foot is as extensive as they say, I it's can... shattered. Yeah. yeah, that's a terrible folks. A suspect was taken into custody for suspicion of meth sales and use following a traffic stop. The Nye County Sheriff's Office has issued an official press release regarding 42 year old Pahrump resident Shannon Reed. On July 20th, Nye County Sheriff's Office detectives and street patrol conducted a traffic stop on a driver, Shannon Reed. At that stop, it was determined that Shannon Reed was under the influence of methamphetamine. In Reed's possession was also located over 14 grams of methamphetamine, as well as drug paraphernalia. Investigation revealed that Reed had left his juvenile children without supervision to conduct sales of methamphetamine in Pahrump. Reed was arrested and transported to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center, where he was booked on the following charges. Trafficking methamphetamine, driving under the influence of drugs, under the influence of a controlled substance, possession of drug paraphernalia, abuse, neglect, and endangerment of a child. Mr. Reed is being held pending bail. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Two roommates are accused of stealing a victim's silver and selling it at a Las Vegas pawn shop. The Nye County Sheriff's Office had issued an official press release regarding 19-year-old Joseph Chiarelli and 22-year-old Frederick White. On July 24th, Nye County Sheriff's Office deputies took a report of approximately 500 ounces of silver being stolen from 1860 Grand Lodge in Pahrump. Nye County Sheriff's Office general assignment detectives responded and assisted on scene with the investigation. On July 25th, Nye County Sheriff's Office detectives discovered that the victim's roommate, Chiarelli and White, had taken the silver without permission of the victim. It was discovered that Joseph Chiarelli and Frederick White had taken the silver to a pawn shop in Las Vegas and had turned the silver into cash. Frederick White was also arrested on a warrant that had been outstanding for a previous burglary. During his arrest, it was identified that he was under the influence of a controlled substance and was in fact found in possession of drug paraphernalia. Joseph Chiarelli and Frederick White were arrested and booked into the Nye County Detention Center and are currently being held awaiting bail on the following charges. Burglary, conspiracy to commit a crime, grand larceny, transfer of stolen property. They are also being charged with being under the influence of a controlled substance. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. All right, folks, coming up after the break, an evening of music and fun. And we speak to another band from Scream It Like You Mean It. Folks, that'll be all right after the break, so please keep it here.
Folks, welcome back to News 46. On Friday, July 22nd at approximately 11.30 at night, the Nye County Sheriff's Office was contacted by the Bonneville County Sheriff's Office in Idaho Falls, Idaho. The Nye County Sheriff's Office was advised that the Bonneville Sheriff's Office was looking for three juveniles that had stolen several firearms and committed several robberies in Idaho Falls. The Nye County Sheriff's Office was advised that the three juveniles were possibly en route to, Pahrump, to the Pahrump area and they were in a stolen vehicle. Nye County Sheriff's working closely with the Bonneville Sheriff's Office set up surveillance which led to the location of the suspect's vehicle. On Saturday at approximately 6 p.m., the stolen vehicle with the three juveniles were stopped utilizing a felony traffic stop tactic by the Nye County Sheriff's Office and Nevada Highway Patrol at Highway 160 and Wheeler Pass Road. All three suspects were taken into custody without incident and turned over to Juvenile Probation Department. All three suspects have been charged with several felonies due to the crimes they committed in Idaho Falls. I just came from that area. Did you? Passed through there to go to Yellowstone. Were you being particularly naughty up there? Uh, no, oh. no. <laughs> no, we were good. We were good. <laughs> All right. Well, District 2 Congressional Candidate Matt Mark Amity will be speaking at the Pahrump Valley Winery at the Republican Central Committee's Evening of Wine and Jazz. Uh, this is the second time I've done this event. Uh, it is an evening of wine and jazz up here at the beautiful Pahrump Valley Winery. Uh, the NCRCC is the hosting uh, fundraiser for this. Uh, Gary Hollis is our honorary chairman and I am the event chairman. And it's going to be a beautiful evening featuring Woody Woods Ensemble, the wines, the amazing award-winning wines of Pahrump Valley Winery. Uh, we expect to have a lot of uh, guests that you'll be familiar with. with. Uh, Mark Amity will be here and he's one of the reasons why we're doing this. Um, it's going to be from 6 to 8.30. Tickets are available at Ace Hardware, Car Studio, and Precious Properties. Wonderful. I know that we saw Mark Armaday here um, when we had the governor here recently. And he is, of course, uh, running for the uh, District, two, District 2 seat. He, he, he's running for the Dean Heller seat. Mm -hmm. the Dean was uh, appointed by the governor to... Uh, Phil uh, uh, John Ensign's seat in the Senate, and uh, according to uh, the, uh, the state constitution, uh, the governor can make an appointment on the Senate side, uh, but there has to be a special election uh, for the, the congressman. So uh, there will be a, a special election probably in September uh, to elect a, a new uh, a congressman for this district. And this is the one that the Republicans have chose. Yes, Mark Amaday is is uh, uh, the person chosen by the Republican Party to uh, be our nominee. And this is a way to get to know him and to get to kind of mingle with uh, people who think alike. He is. Um, he he will be here to answer questions, to uh, get to meet some people that he didn't get to meet during Governor Sandoval's visit here. Uh, he is running for the second. Uh, congressional district and the special election is September 13th and we would like to take a moment to let everybody know that voting registration is closing so get in right away to the clerk's office if you'd like to vote in that election and get registered and tell me a little bit about the evening I know that you said we had Woody Woods you can buy tickets right now you can get a deal if you buy two of them you can it's uh, $60 per person or if you bring a friend it's two for a hundred dollars Wonderful. And this is going to be a great event here. The Prompt Valley Winery is so, what a beautiful setting. Absolutely. This is one of the most uh, uh, beautiful places that we have in Pahrump. Mm. Uh, the food has always been, whatever it is, has always been uh, wonderful. Uh, some of the, the, mo the, the best wine uh, that you can ever, uh, ever taste has come from uh, this winery here. So it's going to be a good night. Wonderful night. And Julie, I know the last time that you had this here, it was a wonderful, successful event. And Woody Woods and the jazz, jazz ensemble that's um, there, great dancing, kind of under the stars. It is. It's going to be amazing. Right now, Woody is touring in Canada, and he is coming back for this event for us. And we'll have him on KPVM so people can see him and know a little bit more about the talent as the uh, August 20th grows near. Uh, music and dancing and drinking of fine wine. This is one of those things to, to come up here, get a little bit out of the heat, and uh, come out here and have a wonderful, wonderful evening. It's, it's one of the things that you can't miss. And this being our second time we've done the event, it's going to be bigger and better. 
Is there a number to call for more information? Yeah, certainly. You can call me at uh, area code 775-513-0960. And Nye County Commissioner Butch Baraski invites you to an open forum to discuss questions and concerns from the public. Yes, Deanna. Um, Louis DeCanio at one of the uh, commissioner's meetings and town board meetings put down a challenge that he would like the public officials to get together to have a meeting to invite the public in so they could voice their concerns and offer suggestions. So uh, our first date is going to be uh, the 30th next Saturday at the Calvada Eye at the Commissioner's Office, 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Invite the public to come in. If they have questions, if they have concerns, if they have suggestions on how to, how to help with things, uh, we're going to have uh, Harley Calkin from the town board, myself, uh, Bill Kohlbarger, Rick Osborne, the two managers. Uh, we're going to have uh, someone from the sheriff's office and someone from the DA's office. And uh, no, I'm sorry, scratch the sheriff. He has his own form. Somebody from the uh, DA's office and somebody from public works. So come on down, 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock, 30th at the Calvada Eye. And, and come on in, offer suggestions or ask questions. So this is a completely open forum for any type of uh, suggestions or concerns or questions, governmental, throughout the valley, anything that, that you guys might be able to help with. Yeah, you know, if we can't answer the question, we'll get somebody who can. And, and again, this is not a formal meeting, so we're not going to be violating any open meeting laws or anything like that. It's, it's just more of a session to sit down and talk. The sheriff does it. Uh, once a month and he's very successful at what he does so uh, we'll do a joint meeting between the town and the county and uh, and we'll see what happens and for more information who can they call they can call me my cell number is 775-297-5200 or my office at 751-7078 and now we catch up with the band the air i breathe at a recent performance here in pahrump um, I'm Tony, I'm the vocalist. Yeah, I'm the vocalist. I'm Greg, I play drums, and uh, I love Chex Mix. <laughs> How's the tour going so far? The tour is going great. What, are we six days in, six shows? Yeah, this is this is the sixth show, still on the West Coast. Still have more to do. Going back to California tomorrow. You just came from California last night. Yeah, we go to Anaheim tomorrow, play at Disney, at the House of Blues. So I'm really excited for that because I've never been to Disney and that's awesome. This is quite a few stops. I think it's 30 total. Yeah, uh, there's a lot. Um, it started um, July 15th, I believe, in Seattle and this it ends for us on August 28th. So I think it's almost like 45, 50 shows maybe. Something crazy like that. Where is it? And I, Indiana? It ends, in, um, it ends in Denver, Colorado. Yeah. And you guys are from? We're from New Jersey. Uh, we actually released our first debut CD on Rise of Velocity Records entitled Great Faith in Fools on June 7th. You can get that iTunes, Hot Topic. Or uh, on this tour. Or on this tour. We're selling them real cheap on this tour. Yep. And uh, yeah, that it's went over really well so far since we're a new band. You know, it, you know, the release wasn't, you know, Billboard Top 10 or anything, but um, it's definitely been picking up heat a lot. So. No, we noticed a difference. Now being on tour with the CD that's out, a lot more kids come out now. So, it, when we didn't have the CD for a while, it wasn't as many kids. Like, yeah, and you get, you'll get a lot of people, a lot of hits, especially after this tour. Absolutely. Absolutely. This tour is definitely great exposure for us, and it's helping us a lot. What's coming up next? We uh, have a tour two weeks after this one's done. We can't say what it is yet, but uh, it's a little heavier than this heavier. tour. Because we're a heavier band. We're the heaviest band on this tour. But it, this tour has a good mix, but the next one's all, it's much heavier. And uh, right after that one, we hop on another one. So we'll be touring straight almost all of fall and the winter. But we yeah. can't say what it is yet, but it's, it's awesome. Amazing. And any other uh, records that you're looking at to possibly put down? Uh, not for a very, very long time. Uh, we, like we, we already put out a CD a month ago. It's doing, it's doing pretty good. I mean, we're going to keep writing. That's, that's obvious. We might put out a song eventually in the far future, but CD is not even in the talks yet. Yeah, we usually like to tour on this CD for like a year and a year and a half before you even like, well, you know, go back in the studio. So we got a lot of time on this CD still. So. Is your studio back in New Jersey? 
No, we actually recorded in uh, Ocala, Florida with Andrew Wade, who records bands like A Day to Remember and uh, Versa Merge and stuff like yeah, that. I looked up his lineup of uh, who actually mixed your albums and amazing, amazing list of people that he's worked with. So how was that to work with him? It was awesome. He, uh, we He's got a, a man. we got along really well. Him. We understood each other's humor really oh, well. Yeah. We were all into the same stuff, and uh, he's a he's a hilarious guy, and he's amazing at what he does. If he, if he sees this, I miss you, dude. Yeah, I, miss you. I miss you. It's quite a notch in your belt to um, be working with him as well. Absolutely. Oh yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for Rheumatologist Dr. Neil Bronstein from the Southwest Medical Associates spoke at a seminar at the Pahrump Nugget regarding arthritis. It's good to go and see a physical therapist, check the range of the motion of the joint. They can tell you the exercises that you can do to help strengthen the muscles, to improve the joint, to take the load off the joint. But I always find this interesting about physical therapy. Sometimes I'll get patients and we'll send them to physical therapy and they say, oh, I want to go back. I said, oh, that's great. I like physical therapy. I had a good time and it really helped, but the physical therapy stopped and now my knee hurts again. And I said, okay, are you doing the exercises they taught you in physical therapy since you left? And no. Well, there's nothing magical about the gates of physical therapy. You don't walk in and go, oh, and my knee's magically better because I went there. Usually for arthritis or a joint, I want to do physical therapy, have a therapist spend the time with you, evaluate your knee, see what are the things that work for you, but then after physical therapy is over, you got to go wrong with that. You can say, okay, I'm going to go home and use my band or whatever and do the exercises I've learned, and that'll keep the improvement going. So when we do exercise, maintain range of motion and strength. Um, bracing, bracing can help. It depends on the joint, and sometimes it helps if it's only one joint. Well, I got one knee that's good, I got one knee that's bad. That's a perfect situation for a knee brace. Okay, we're going to brace that knee, try to get it aligned properly, get a little bit of extra support, that can really help quite a bit. Um, I like neoprene sleeves. I'm going to take one second. I like neoprene sleeves. You can buy them at Walmart, supermarket. They're usually black. They, on the knees, they got a little hole cut out for your kneecap and they slide on. They're a simple thing. That's neoprene. They got elbow ones, they got wrist ones. They're easily obtainable. I like them much more than ace bandages. Anyone rock an ace bandage around their knee? You wrap it really good and make it nice and tight. You take five steps, now it's unraveling loose. It's bunched up in your pants. It's grabbing your hair. You're doing this. It's doing nothing for you. And then they stretch out very quickly anyway. To see the entire interview, please visit kpvm.tv or our YouTube page. And folks, now for our Facebook question of the day. With more cars getting better and better gas mileage than ever before, current state gas tax isn't generating enough money to fix our highways and build new ones. So the Nevada Department of Transportation, in its infinite wisdom, is looking for a whole new way to keep up with the expense of highway repairs. The solution? A vehicle miles traveled fee, or VMT. Here's what some of you had to say about this idea. Hope says, not when you have to drive to Vegas to work, and if you're on SS, so unfair for those. And Jen says, I am sure if gas were cheaper, more people would be driving. And no, I don't think a VMT is a better way to go for the commuters. Glad I have my horses just in case. Karen says, I think if they do this, they should disallow those of us who have to commute to Vegas to make a living. It's just one more challenge to pay the bills. Totally not fair. Herber says, Sounds more like, uh, sounds more like, oh, sorry, sounds more, sounds like more of the redistribution of wealth kind of nonsense. Sheesh. And Patty follows it up with trips could become very expensive, paying taxes in two states. Brad says, put the tracking chips in now so you can tax me for walking, too. I know it's coming. What about breathing? Can you tax that somehow? <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> I like that. You know what? I mean, water should be free, right? We pay more per gallon for water than we do gas. Which is pretty funny when you think know. about it. I mean, you know, well, water's free. Meaning bottled water. Oh, right. Of no, of course. <laughs> so well, how's the weather? It looks like it might sprinkle. Well, we've had some hints that it might sprinkle, but you know, the percentages are so low that it's not looking all that likely. Oh. But stay tuned because we've still got all kinds of other interesting weather in our seven-day forecast right after the break.
Whether you buy a medical group with five locations in Pahrump, local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 Weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Hey everyone, welcome back to News 46. I'm Rick Vale with your weather. Today we had up to 100 degrees out there. Winds out of the south southwest at about 10 miles per hour. We saw gusts upwards of 23 miles per hour. Our pressure holding steady on the barometer 29.87. The UV index was 6, which is high. Humidity was 23%. Now our sunrise is at 546 AM and our record high is 116 degrees back in 1943. Looking at tonight, going to be a low of 79 degrees. Winds out of the south southwest at about 9 miles per hour with gusts upwards of 25 miles per hour. Humidity will be 28%. Sunset at 7.55 p.m. and our record low 65 degrees back in 1944. Looking at tomorrow, sunny skies out there, high of 100, a low of 77. Winds added south-southwest at about 8 miles per hour with gusts upwards of 23 miles per hour expected. Our humidity for tomorrow is supposed to be somewhere in the neighborhood about 22%, but our UV index is going to be 9, which is very high. So again, please be sure you're wearing sunscreen or a hat, something like that when you're outside. You will get burned out there. And sunrise for tomorrow is expected to be 547 AM. Looking at our seven day forecast Thursday, not very windy out there, somewhere under 20 with a high of 101, a low of 81 degrees. Friday heading into the weekend, a high of 100 and a low of 80. Saturday, partly cloudy skies expected out there. We got a high of 101, a low of 81, low of 81 pretty much all weekend. As you can see, Sunday still partly cloudy with a high of 102. Monday heading into next week, gusty winds up to about 20 miles per hour, partly cloudy skies, a high of 103 and a low of 82. And finishing off our seven day forecast next Tuesday, a high of 109 degrees and overnight low of 77. And our worst weather in the nation today is Sargent for strong thunderstorms. All right, so now I've been back, obviously. I just wasn't here yesterday. You and couldn't talk. I couldn't talk, and there's a very valid reason why. Uh, I was at San Diego Comic-Con, and they've got a booth there. It's called the Asura's Wrath, and you're supposed to get in the thing and scream at the top of your lungs. And if you scream loud enough, you get a pretty wicked-looking prize. And that is what I've got on right now. See? <laughs> yeah. There's so much rage. You but know? the guy in the, in, the, in the picture you yeah. just showed, was that you? That was me, yeah. Oh, that was that you. Was I was going to say yeah. it looks like you. That's right. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so this is the... Reason I had a sore throat. Yeah, see, that's me. It's, oh, that is yeah, you. There you go. Okay. Letting it it looks all out. like a. It looks like a poster. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's they had the whole poster behind you and everything. So you scream and you get the silly looking <laughs> hair thing, you know. So that's it's so not worth it, really. That's I'm just, just yeah. so cute, Rick. I tell you. <laughs> I'm just loving that new hairdo of yours. I'll tell you that well, right I now. I think I'll leave it on. Well, well, yeah, and we'll see if anybody can take your announcement seriously. That's okay. Right. Well, please be sure to subscribe to our free weekly email newsletter, which Rick here happens to put together. To subscribe, just visit our website at kpvm.tv and fill in the form right on the main page. The newsletter is filled with top stories, coupons, articles, and more. And I'll tell you what, I was out of town last week and I checked my email, the newsletter came, and I was able to watch the top story, which happened to be our Nye County deputy who was hit by another uh, car. So Absolutely. it was interesting to me to yeah. see that. Yeah, Thank and, you. and the coupons are very useful too. I've actually taken advantage of it now. And well, this week's Lulu, coupons, Frugal Lou, yeah. <laughs> right. she finds all the coupons. Make sure you go down and get her coupons. You'll be amazed the stuff that she has. Absolutely. Yes. And folks, tomorrow from noon to 1 p.m. at the University of Nevada Cooperative Extension on the corner of Calvada and Dandelion is a lunch and learning program regarding brain health and dementia. Much like myself with this wig, <laughs> apparently. For more information or to RSVP, call 764-1768. Mountain View Casino is holding the dinner theater auctions this Thursday also from 8 to 11 p.m. We're going to have to repeat that tomorrow because they're <laughs> never going to remember watching no, you read it with right. that hat on. With this, with this going on. <laughs> It's not happening. All right, <laughs> folks, that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Rick Vale. I'm Rhonda Van Winkle. And from everyone up here on the Hill of KPVM, we wish you a safe evening, and we'll see you here again tomorrow night. Until then, good night, Prom. Good night.